Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is day 26 of our yoga beam challenge. And we are back on the letter B for balance. And we're gonna do another peak pose practice. And today's peak pose is Bakasana, also known as crow pose. Crow pose is a challenging pose, but I will give you a couple modifications you can use. So what you can do is grab a block. If you know you need to modify, if you don't have a block, grab yourself a big thick book or a couple of books or something that you can rest your toes on. So let's go ahead and get started in an easy seat, just with some breath. Hands resting on the knees. You can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's come back to our natural breath. Just taking this moment to remember to challenge ourselves, but to work within our range and listen to our bodies throughout this practice and throughout any yoga practice. We always want to be taking care of ourselves. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to roll straight up to hands and knees in a table position. Spread your fingers wide. Hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. And let's start to rock back and forth over the wrists. Giving our wrists a stretch because Bakasana is an arm balance. And we want to make sure we have good mobility in our wrists and a good stretch in our wrists so that we don't injure them. Let's start to move around in a circle to the right. And we could do the same thing moving to the left. Good. Let your fingertips face the sides of your mat. Let's go side to side. Good. Then rotate your fingers around to face you. We'll go forward and back gently. Bring your fingers around to face the front again. Let's do some Marjariyasana and Bidalasana cat cow. So take an inhale, start to flip the tailbone upward. Drop the belly down, lift the chin, press the tailbone up and away. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, chin to chest, pull the belly button back towards the spine. Uh, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest. Let's do a couple more rounds on your own. Good. 
Good. And if you want to add some barrel rolls circling the head and the hips, you can. Good. Bring your spine back to a neutral position. Let's bring our big toes together, our knees wide, and start to float our hips back towards the heels for a balasana, child's pose. Let's extend the arms forward, melt the chest down towards your mat. If you like, if you need some support, you can bring the block underneath your hips or a pillow. You can also keep your hips lifted. Now from here, come up on your fingertips, tint the fingers, melt your chest down a little bit more. Maybe we find a little rock side to side. This is a good shoulder stretch. Let's bring the hands flat again. From here, we'll float our body up to a table position. Let's get another shoulder stretch here. Extend the right arm out to the side, inhale. Exhale, bring it behind the left. Right ear, right shoulder, come down to the ground. Keep those left fingertips on the ground or you can bend this left arm behind your back. Exhale, or the left hand down. Press back up to table. Let's do the other side. Inhale, extend the left arm out to the side. Exhale, bring it behind the right. Left ear, left shoulder, rest on the mat. Right hand can stay planted on your mat or bend the right arm behind your back. Inhale, exhale, right hand comes back down. Press back up to table position. Let's come to our first down dog. Tucking our toes under, lifting our hips up and back. Press the chest towards the thighs, press the heels towards the ground. Staying long through your spine. So if you need to bend your knees, that is always okay. Pedal our feet out a little here. Come back to stillness. Remember, you can also rest down on the knees. And we're going to do a three-leg dog. So start to extend the right leg back. Inhale. You can still do this down from the knees. Exhale. We're going to float our body forward. Knee to chest. Nose to knee. Uh, inhale back. Exhale forward. Nose to knee. Inhale back one more time. Exhale this time. We step the foot up in between the hands. Coming to a lunge position. Right knee is aligned over right ankle. We're up on the left toes. Sweep the arms up for high lunge. Inhale. Stay up on that back toe if you can. Square your chest with the front leg. Inhale in your high lunge. Exhale, we're going to rotate the back heel down flat. And then we'll rest this forearm above the right knee. Left arm extends up towards the sky for extended side angle. 
Now you can stay here or you can bring your hand down inside of your right foot to the ground. You can even extend that left arm up and over the ear if you like. Inhale. Exhale, both hands come down on either side of the foot, come to a lunge position. Step the right foot back, come to plank or modified plank. From here, we're going to do a couple of scapula push-ups. So you're going to sink down in the shoulders, staying up in your plank position, sinking down, bringing those shoulder blades close together, and then separating them, pushing back up. Good, we'll do it two more times, lower. Lift, one more time, lower, lift. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward, lower down to the belly. Tops of the feet come flat, hands underneath shoulders, elbows tucked in tight. We lift up for cobra, just lifting the chest off the ground, or go ahead and straighten the elbows and come to up dog. Inhale. Exhale, make your way back to down dog. Good. And then we'll repeat that on the other side. So take a breath or two here. Catch your breath. See if you can maybe breathe in and out of your nose. When you're ready, extend the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Knee to chest, nose to knee. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale, step the foot up in between the hands. Lunge position. Staying up on the back toe. Sweep the arms up, high lunge. Uh, left knee aligned over left ankle. If you need help with balance, widen your stance to hips distance apart. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the back heel down flat. Rest the left forearm above the left knee. Extend the right arm up. If you like, you can bring the left hand down inside the left foot. And maybe the right arm can extend up and over. Inhale. Exhale, right hand lowers down. Come to a lunge position. Back on the back toe again. And then from here, we'll go ahead and step this left foot back. Coming to plank. We'll do our push-ups here, our shoulder push-ups. So sink down, let those shoulder blades come close together. Press back up, good. Second time. Press up, lower, one more time, and lift, good. Inhale, exhale, shift your weight forward. Come down to the belly. Elbows tucked in tight, hands underneath shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest, or Lift the chest, straighten the elbows, hips, come off the ground, coming to up dog. Exhale, make your way to down dog. Good. Couple breaths here. When you're ready. Bring your gaze in between your hands. And then we're going to bend, bring the feet up behind the hands. So bend the knees, step, jump, or float the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, come up to a flat back with the hands on the shins. Flat tabletop back. Exhale, lower down to forward fold. You can bring a deep bend in your knees if you like and grab the elbows or just hang forward. Now from here, start to heel toe your feet apart. If you have that block, bring it close to you. 
You're gonna get ready to use it in a second if you are modifying. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Elbows are inside of the knees. Start to lower the hips down for Malasana squat. So see if you can let your toes face more forward and if you can keep your spine long. Elbows are inside of knees here, chin, pillow to the floor if you can. Some people's heels may start to come off the ground. That's okay. If you have a, a blanket nearby, you can bring a rolled up blanket underneath the heels. But just do the best you can here. Opening up our hips, preparing us to start to attempt our Bakasana crow pose. Let's do a couple more breaths in Malasana squat. Good. Now from here, bring your hands to the ground. Start to lift your hips. And then we're going to move into our Bakasana modified version or full version. So bend your knees, bend your elbows. Your knees can rest on those forearms or they may be a little bit closer to the elbows depending on what your balance is like, how open your hips are. So go ahead and grab your block. If you know you would like to modify, bring your toes to the block. Bend the elbows, knees resting on those forearms. And then you'll just shift your weight forward and you can just stay here. You can just stay here and this can be your bakasana. This is plenty. You're still working the same muscles. Now, if you are confident in your balance and in your bakasana, we'll start to shift our weight onto the forearms and lift our toes off the ground. You can also use a block in front of you to rest your forehead on for some balance. So if you're ready, fingers spread nice and wide, elbows resting on the forearms, shift your weight forward, find your jishti here your focal point to help you balance. Now you can start to lift your toes. Bringing the feet in close to the hips. Good. Let's take an inhale. Exhale. We'll rest those toes back down. And come back to our Malasana squat. Good. Coming back to our squat, slowing our breathing down. Let's take an inhale, exhale, bring those hands in front of you, lift the hips, and then walk the feet back to a plank. I'm going to lower down to the belly for Sphinx pose. So lower down to the belly and come up on the forearms here. Fingers spread wide. You can separate the feet. Chin parallel to the floor. And think about pulling the chest through the shoulders. Actively pulling those forearms back towards you. A couple more breaths and sphinx. Can inhale, exhale, lower the chest down, hands underneath shoulders, elbows tucked in tight. And we'll press back to the lasana, child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. Melt your chest down towards your mat. Just resting here. Good. Let's take an inhale. Exhale. Shift your weight forward. 
Legs extend to the front. Flex the toes back towards your face. And then curl the tops of your thighs inward slightly. We'll come to our seated forward bend, Paschimottanasana. Sweeping the arms up, inhale. Exhale, start to hinge forward. Let your hands fall down on either side of your legs and walk them forward till you feel that stretch in the back and in the backs of the legs. If you wanna grab your toes, feel free, but it's not necessary. If you need to have a bit of a bend in your knees, that's okay too, as long as you're feeling something. Take an inhale, exhale, roll back up to a seat. Come to a comfortable seated position, or you can lay down in Shavasana. We'll end with some breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take a second deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Come back to your natural breath. Allowing yourself to rest for the next few moments after all the hard work you just did. If you'd like to stay here longer, you can turn this video off now. Otherwise, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And if you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment here to reflect on your practice and to extend gratitude towards yourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. 
Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this Bakasana Crow Pose practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about the practice. Were you able to get into a modified version of Bakasana or full Bakasana? Don't forget to check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member. There's also links for my DJ channel and Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace and love.